a very good afternoon Dutch bike blogger here. On my way home and it's already getting dark. What I did, I changed the settings from my camera to the night setup. Which means I have hopefully a better view at night. Well, it mainly has to do with the view you have. I can still see quite all right outside. But probably for you guys, it will look a little bit darker. On the other hand, because it's still somewhat light outside, it could be that it looks a little bit overexposed at the moment. Don't worry, when I get home, it will be totally gone. Well, another day went by, or flew by actually. Well, weather report for today, or the moment, 2 degrees, with, with the wind blowing, still east, northeast 4, it makes it very cold, wearing gloves, my hat, and I already have a cold face. taking a little longer ride to home than I have to. But I just might like to make a quiet ride home with nobody around. That's why I'm choosing this well four minute ride longer than normal route. Headwind. Not really appreciating this. A little better judgment I go here. Let's crank up my light. It immediately the indicator turns to red. Then I need to charge my light. I don't have to because I charged it this morning. So it's quite stupid that this thing is indicating I have to charge. But that has to do with the batteries and the code. Well, nice of the dog owner to get to the side. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. By the way, was yesterday evening I was looking at my ride I drove and how long it was. Just to check my bike computer. And the Google Maps 
actually rerouted me through the fields right of me. There is a path called Laan naar het klooster, road to the monastery, which was really the road to the monastery. And this channel to my left wasn't there. Yes, the channel is man-made. Man but actually, it seriously considered to send me there, driving there. Well, I've been there before. And it's probably known in another movie of mine. It's a dirt road with deep potholes. Not to be driven at night, but you will, of course, get lost. Don't see the potholes and will eventually crash. But it was quite funny that Google Maps directions and the route gave it up a serious option. I will indicate when I pass the thing on the the entrance or exit on the right to look where it is. Well, except for one dog owner and two dogs, no one here. Well, there's the tower you can climb on. And exactly to the right here, there's the entrance. Well, you don't want to go there. Not even in darkness. Oh, there's somebody walking on this bike lane with a dog, unattended. Hoi, oh, Mida. Hi. He's actually not allowed to walk the dogs loose, but I can understand why you do it. Because it's all so quiet. I'm the only idiot driving here. I can really notice the headwind now. Or we can hear it in the camera and the microphone, I mean. I can't hear anything in the camera, I only see things through a camera. It's code. Really have to step on the pedals to get some decent speed in. Still going straight. I have a nice look at the the bike lane and in the distance I can see somebody two somebody's actually hopefully I can get by probably will go okay Hello. Not a pair of dog owners. And of course, when I had a dog, I would walk here too. Really nice and quiet. But like I said, there's one idiot on the bike. Me, going here. Well, this is quite tiring to get a pace in. And also dealing with the wind. Phew! Well, underneath the railway bridge, probably know that's the railway bridge where the train goes from Sauert and then to Groningen North. That's the railway. Have a look at the map. 
then you will see where I am. The route I just took is not viewed or able to be viewing be viewed in Google Street View. Nobody went by here. No car, which is actually not a possibility that it could have gone here with a smaller car, a bike, or even have walked here. They choose not to. So you have to rely on my footage. <laughs> well, I would be glad when I got home, I'll get home. Get something to eat, relax, change clothes, and eventually watch some TV and do some chores at home. I'm not world's most busiest housekeeper, but sometimes things have to be done, or have to be done. I have to say honestly, working 14 hour, 40 hours a week is a little bit much for me. I'm just not used to it. I'm used to making 6 hours a day, 30 hours a week. But luckily we got some form to fill out so we can give our preferences for the working days and the working hours and working times. Of course, this has to be in a certain limit. The operation I'm working for is open from six, no, from eight in the morning till six in the evening. So when I start at eight, I will be free at 2.30, six hours work, one hour, one uh, half an hour break. Break is in my own time, so that's why it's an extra half an hour. When I have to work at two six, I can start at eleven thirty, or even a time between that. So starting at nine, free at three thirty, and so on. So I don't have to work evenings anymore, which somehow suits me fine. On the other hand, I quite liked it in the evening to work and get home in the darkness. And actually not so much the darkness, but the quietness. Because in the evening it's way, way easier to go. Less busy, I mean. You know, there is a car on the road. Not sure what to think of that and what to do. Well, I can't pass, so let's do that. It's driving backwards. What the F? Still cold, but sweating at my back. Really strange. So hopefully you can see something, because it's getting awfully dark now. Sun is setting at 4.30 or so, maybe a little bit earlier. And I'm not sure actually if the next movie in the morning will be one without a light, a bike light or camera settings set to daylight. I have to see. 
maybe the first part in the darkness and then change it a half to dar uh, for lighter settings well almost home thank you very much for watching please like the video <laughs> subscribe to my channel it's for free doesn't cost you anything hit the subscribe button I'm in Dutch abonneer next to the subscribe button there is a small bell button when you click that you will get informed on YouTube with a notification that I upload my next movie please use it well I have to thank you again see you next time have a great day and try to be safe out there